I'm a respiratory therapist, and I've been having a lot of people lately ask me what exactly happens to my lungs when I have COVID-19. So stick around to find out more of what I have to say. Hey guys, I'm Daniel from Doldier Media, and today I'm going to be talking about what exactly happens to your lungs when you have COVID-19. That doesn't necessarily mean you have it, but when a loved one or somebody you know has it, I'm gonna explain what happens. Before we talk about what happens to your lungs during COVID-19, I need to explain a few simple principles in order for you to understand what exactly happens later on during this disease process. We breathe oxygen. Every single breath that we take, there's a little bit of oxygen in each breath. Now, in the atmosphere, 21% of it is actually oxygen. The rest of it is mostly nitrogen. So. Roughly 21% of every breath that you take is going to be oxygen. Now, normally, this ensures that our oxygen is perfectly fine. We get enough to our brain. We get enough to our heart. Many of the people that actually have COVID-19 also have pneumonia. Now, they get pneumonia from the virus. And what is pneumonia? Pneumonia is inflammation of the lungs. It's interesting because in Russian, they actually just say you have inflammation of the lungs. They don't even say any word for it. But in English, we use the Greek pneumonia. So that gets a little confusing at times because people don't necessarily understand what exactly is pneumonia. Now, typically every time we take a breath, our, the air travels with the oxygen into the lungs and it goes into these little sacs that, that we call alveoli. Now, these little air pockets in your lungs have blood vessels all around them. And what happens during this time is when you breathe in the oxygen, there's a very thin wall that separates the blood vessel from the actual air sac. You have oxygen freely going into the blood vessels and you have CO2 freely leaving the blood vessels. In a normal healthy individual, this is a very easy process, nothing to worry about. Now when somebody gets pneumonia, the lungs actually get a little inflamed, they get swollen. And when the lungs get swollen, it gets a little bit more difficult for oxygen to actually go through that wall. It is now thicker. And so oxygen cannot easily go into your blood vessels. And when oxygen cannot easily go into your blood vessels, in the hospital, they have to give you more oxygen. And typically you see this in a nasal cannula or some other form of oxygen delivery. Usually when somebody gets pneumonia from the flu or some other situation, it takes a few weeks for that to heal and it goes away and people get better. What we're seeing with COVID is that the pneumonia is not going away. It's very thick and it's getting worse and worse and more and more inflamed. So what we have to do as respiratory therapists or doctors or nurses is now we have to somehow figure out a way where we can actually stretch out the lungs, inflate them a little bit with pressure to stretch out that wall, make it a little bit thinner to get the oxygen in. We do a calculation that determines how much oxygen are we giving you and how much is actually getting into your bloodstream. Now, if that number starts getting really low in terms of we're giving you 100% of oxygen into your lungs, but only a small amount is actually getting through, we call this ARDS. ARDS is Acute Respiratory Distress Syndrome. It's when we're giving you way too much oxygen and your body's not receiving any oxygen through your blood vessels. Now, in ARDS, it gets a little bit more tricky because not only is the wall inflamed, but now there's actually secretions there and also water there. And so when you're trying to get oxygen into your blood vessel or you're trying to get CO2 out of your blood vessel, it's very difficult for that little molecule to go through not only the wall that's inflamed, the actual tissue that's inflamed, but also you have to go through a little bit of water and a little bit of secretions. And this situation makes it very tricky for people who have COVID-19 to breathe. That's why a lot of people have to get a tube inside them, which we call intubation. And we put them on an actual machine where we have to breathe for them. Now, one of the ways to treat this is you actually put somebody on their stomach. And when you're on your stomach, we call that pronation. And when you're on your stomach, there's a better chance for all the secretions to move around and better air exchange at your back. Now, somebody with COVID-19 is going to have inflamed lungs or swollen lungs. And a few people, we don't understand fully how this happens, but a few people go into full ARDS. And that's completely stiff lungs, water, secretions in the lungs. And we don't know exactly who gets this. It's more random than anything else. There are some studies to suggest the types of people that are getting this. We have no way of determining out of the people who get coronavirus, whose lungs are gonna be completely give up. It is an immune response that's very severe. And at that time, it's very difficult to breathe. So if you're having any trouble breathing, go to the doctor. If you're having any trouble breathing, take this seriously. This is something that's very difficult to deal with. And we're seeing a lot more people going to ARDS right away. There's been a lot of people in my community that are not taking the coronavirus seriously, but I urge you guys, do not take this lightly. 
There are more people with coronavirus and people are dying from this. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and thank you for watching.